So a lot of you that play Fortnite for some reason after some time of playing on your computer or after some time after getting optimized or getting your PC reset, your PC starts feeling off or Fortnite just feels off and you don't edit the same, you don't shoot the same, just things feel off. They don't feel like how they used to feel. So in this video, we're going to go over the things that you have to check and the things you have to make sure are running properly while you're playing Fortnite, just because if any of these things are messed up or if any of these things are running in the background, they will will tamper with your gameplay and they will make things worse. So without further ado, let's get right into things that you should avoid doing while playing Fortnite and the things that you have to check. So the first step on making sure that your Fortnite game feels 100% good and you don't have dropped frames or heavy input delay in random situations is checking your temperatures and making sure they're fine. So we're going to be using a tool called HW Info. And the reason I have this first on the list is just because a lot of people, they don't check their temperatures whenever they're playing the game and a lot of people are overheating and that's where 90% of their issues come from so go to hwinfo.com you're gonna hover over installer click free download you just click local and then just install this program then once you have it installed it will open up just like this just click sensors only make sure that's checked and then press start and it'll scan your whole entire PC for any sensors on your computer and all you're gonna do is it's gonna look somewhat like this if you're on AMD you're gonna look for something called CPU TCL slash T die if you're on Intel just at core temperatures so you want to look at core temperatures and cpu package those are the most important things that you need to be checking and then let's just say for example you launch fortnite and your cpu package or your core temperatures while you're playing fortnite is around 75 degrees that's usually the spot where i'd say that's too much and you're losing performance at 75 degrees so if that's the case then you need to go to your bio settings and turn up your fan speeds or if you have an nzxt water cooler or a corsair water cooler download the software software for your water cooler and make sure the pump and the fans are on full speed to make sure that you do that is really important just because you will lower your temperatures and lower temperatures on any cpu equals more performance so make sure that you guys do that regardless of what cpu you have especially if you're overheating now if this does not fix it and you're still overheating you're still reaching 75 degrees or above while playing fortnite then you have other issues to worry about it could be you have to replace your thermal paste it could be that you have to clean up the dust all inside of your pc or it could be that you need a new cpu cooler just because the one that you have is either already bad or it's faulty so i'll leave cpu coolers linked in the description if you do need to upgrade it but highly recommend you guys get this fixed just because this is 90 percent of people's issues that i come across with now the next thing is making sure the launcher is set up properly so all you're gonna do is go to the top right in your profile in epic games launcher click settings uncheck minimize the system tray uncheck when running my computer starts and then uncheck the notifications down here now if you scroll all the way down click on fortnite if you have additional command line arguments checked and you have stuff written here just erase it and uncheck these command line arguments for games like fortnite they don't really work in other games they might work but in fortnite the developers completely lock the command line arguments so there's no point of using command line arguments so make sure you take those out if you have any then go back click on the three dots on fortnite click options and just copy these settings right here if you don't use ex12 and if you don't play save the world if you do play save the world you can check this if you do play dx12 just check dx12 shaders but otherwise if you're playing performance mode or directx 11 just check just like how i have it press apply and close out of epic games launcher now the third thing is to make sure that you don't have unnecessary things running in the background 24 7 in your computer so if you click on this arrow on the bottom right for a lot of you it might look something like this which is terrible you don't want your background apps to look like this so for example msi afterburner i know a lot of people use this you do not need to use this in the background you could just click this windows logo right here and then exit out of it it does not need to run in the background as long as you turn on that windows logo every time you start up your pc it will apply the settings that you set in msi afterburner except your fan curve now if you have battle.net open just close out of that steam same thing and discord if you don't really use discord on your pc that much you can close out of it and riot client same thing you just want the main necessary things that you want running while you're playing so discord nvidia broadcast or geforce experience or some other software running is fine. Anything more than that is probably unnecessary, especially things like mouse software and keyboard software. You don't need these running in the background. They just take away system resources and they just introduce input delay, especially things like SteelSeries Engine, which has clips enabled and you don't want two overlays running at the same time. So the fourth thing is going to be editing our game user settings file for Fortnite, making sure that everything in there is set to low and there's not unnecessary things that are set to high or medium. 
ingredients. So just press your Windows key and R, type percent, local, app data percent, press enter, go to Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, and then straight in the middle, double click game user settings. You would have to open it with notepad. So if it tells you what should you open it with, just open it with notepad and then scroll down all the way pretty much and find scalability groups. And all of this should be set to zero except view distance and resolution quality. These two should be just fine, but everything else under them, set it to zero. Scroll up and then you can set a custom frame rate limit. So if you have a 280 Hertz monitor, I recommend capping at 280 just because 240 is probably not going to look as clean or 360 is probably not going to look as clean. So if you have a 280 Hertz monitor or a 270 Hertz monitor, just cap it here at 270 and if you have 165 hertz monitor same thing applies so let's just say you have 165 you just type 165 right here click file save and then you can just close out of that and make sure your audio quality is set to zero and make sure your preferred full screen mode is on zero and then you can pretty much click file save close out of that and those are your game user settings done now the fifth thing is kind of advanced but this is just hardware based so just search up cpuz i'll leave it linked down in the description but what you're going to do is go to zip english download now and and just open up the zip and double click CPU-Z x64.exe. And this program is going to show us basically information about our motherboard, CPU, and RAM. And we'll be checking mostly the RAM. So go to memory and you're going to look at DRAM frequency and make sure that somehow matches whatever is an SPD. So I have my RAM overclocked, so it's going to be a little bit higher than what it shows up here. But for example, XMP7200 frequency should be 3600. And then this CAS latency and all of these should be these numbers. So I'm going to go back to memory and make make sure that these are the same. So I have my RAM overclocked, so it's kind of just different, but it's pretty much the same. I'm running on the XMP profile. For you, it's gonna look like that, just a little bit different numbers, probably lower, probably higher, but you just wanna make sure this XMP profile, the first one is the same as the one that shows here. If it's not, you have to go to your BIOS and turn on your XMP profile, if you haven't done that already. And once you do that, your performance will jump and you'll get instantly more FPS and lower input delay. Now, the second thing that you wanna check is, is only if you're on DDR4. So look at memory controller frequency. This should be the same thing as your DRAM frequency. So the same number. So let's just say it said 1600 for DRAM frequency. It should say 1600 for memory controller frequency. Now this is only applicable to Intel 11th gen, 12th gen, 13th gen, and 14th gen. And if you're on DDR4. If you're on DDR5, it should be the half as this number. So that's completely fine if it's half. If you're on DDR4, it should be the same exact thing. If it's not, you're running something called gear two and this runs your memory speed at technically half the speed and that you do get more input delay because of that. So make sure that you're on gear one on DDR4. If you're on AMD, it's a different story. Just make sure your FCLK frequency is half of your DRAM frequency and that's just for AMD. And that's pretty much it. That's all you guys have to pretty much check. The just important two things is this XMP stuff and the temperature stuff at the beginning of this video. The other stuff does matter a little bit, but not as much as those two big things. Anyways, guys, it's going to be pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and comment down below if this helped you or comment down below if you figured out what your issue was all along this time but if this still didn't help you and you have high-end specs or you have mid-end specs and you just feel like you should be getting way more fps and you feel like you should be getting way lower input delay then go to the zali.net website and book either a pc optimization service or if you're just looking to overclock your system then just book one of the pc overclocks we'll get you right with our specialist but it's gonna be pretty much it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed peace out